the aim of our project, of our research, is to create living heart valves made of the patient's own cells. Simon Herstrop is on the verge of a medical breakthrough, developing replacement heart valves that grow with the patient. They'd be given to newborn babies with congenital heart defects. We first want to create a heart valve made of the baby's own cells. We call that tissue engineering. So we take cells of the baby, put them onto a material which has the shape of a heart valve, and then it grows in and forms a new heart valve, a living heart valve. One in every 100 newborns has a heart malformation, and half of them will need open heart surgery. But that won't be necessary with this technique. So what we would do is we would implant a stented heart valve without operation. We can go through a vessel and come into this position and replace the defect heart valve with this new heart valve. Professor Herstrop has set up a company to develop the technology. Tissue engineering is a new field and taking a product to market is complex. It's not an established process and that's the same also for the, um, for the regulatory authorities. So we have to work together with the authorities to evaluate the product in its safety and uh, efficacy. Zeltis is one of eight partners in a European Union research project to develop the heart valves. There's another partner in Berlin who bring the, the minimally invasive implantation technology. There's another major partner in, in Holland, in Eindhoven. They have the polymer and scaffold know-how. So it's bringing all the skills together and I think only with such a combination you can really go forward quickly. The first patients could receive replacement valves made from their own cells as early as 2014. I, of course, I feel very um, excited about it that we now are entering after such a long time of, of preclinical work, uh, the, the, the clinical scenario, and that we can start treating uh, pediatric patients with this uh, very new technology. Jumping my machine.